hi guys welcome back to another tutorial so today we'll be cutting this beautiful shirt flay gun full flay shirt gun so these are the materials that i'll be using i'll be using this this is the material just a little piece of it this is the material i'll be using for the collar and for the sleeve band for the band of the sleeve then also for the button hole and button base so this is the main fabric i'll be using for this shirt so i have three yards of this fabric here if you have more you can use but this is what i have so i folded it into two equal parts square so i have two equal parts here so next i'll be folding it in a triangular shape i'll be cutting the back and the front together because there's no need cutting the back first and cutting the front to leave your Button hole allowance because I'll be using under fabric, so we don't need button hole allowance for this fabric. So this is the fabric unfold. Yeah. So next, I'm going to hold it and fold it into a triangular form. Right now, we are done folding it into triangular form, so we'll start imputing our body measurement. So now I don't need any uh, measurement for this. All I need to do is to start placing my tape where I think it will accommodate my my shoulder measurement my shoulder measurement is 15 15 divided by 2 we have 7.5 so this is 7.5 so i'll just increase it down a bit so this is what we have so now because we have, we'll be cutting both the sleeve together on this straight line so i'll just bring it down to this point where i have nine inches so i'm just going to rule a straight line here so after reading the straight line, all I need to do now is to impute the only measurement we need for this dress is your shoulder measurement and the length of your gun. So I will impute my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. Then I'll start working on my neck opening. So because this is a shirt dress, I don't want it to be too wide. So I'm going to do my neck width as 3 inches. Then my neck depth for the front, for the back, is going to be 1 inch. So I'll connect it together. Remember, this is a shirt dress, so we don't need it open. If your boss is less than 38, please, your neck depth for the back should be half an inch. But if your boss is more than 40 your, or 42, your neck depth should be up to 1 inch. Then if your boss is up to 48, 50, please, your neck depth for the back should be 1.5. So for the front, I'm going to put four inches my neck depth for the front is four inches then i'll connect it together but because i'm not adding any allowance to join the button all base together i'm just going to increase this to half inch i'm trying to manage the fabric here as mean i'm cutting the back and the front separately when i'm cutting the front i'm going to leave half inch allowance for sewing of the bottom all base and the bottom base but because i'm not leaving that so i'm just going to bring this neck down to half inch so in total we have 4.5 inches at the front for the neck depth so i'm just going to adjust it this way then we're going to put my tape here you can see i'll just increase it to nine inches this is my main shoulder measurement here so assuming it's a normal shirt with sleeve, we'll just start imputing and get our shoulder cover because it's hand together. So I'm just going to increase this place to 9 inches. Then I'll come down by half an inch. Then I'll connect it. I'll just connect it to meet with this. Can you see what I have now? So from this place, which is my 4 points, my... Um, 7.5 inches in my shoulder measurement. So I'm just going to measure where I want the sleeve, my ham hole to be. So from this place, I'm going to take 9 inches. So this is where I want my ham hole to be. So I'm going to take 9 inches. Then I'll connect this small to this part. Then from this 9 inches, I'm going to do my the opening where my hand is going to come out from. So from here, I'm going to take another... I'll take 8 inch, 8 inches... So this is my 8 inches and I'm just going to take this all the way down. So when I'm sewing this, I'm going to close this all the way from this place and stop here and continue from here. Then this place, I'm going to leave it open because this is where I'm going to fix my band. And this is where my sleeve is going to come out from. So after doing this, I'll start taking the length of my gun. 
So I'll be using 40 inches for the total length of this gun. You can use any length of your choice. So you know this is Ankara, so we'll be joining. So for me, I'm going to take my 40 inch. So by the time I got to the this part of the gun, you can notice that it's not up to 40 inches. We have just 32 inches. So we're going to be adding to this to get our complete 40 inches. So we'll add four parts. So I'm just going to add this. I'm just going to, to cut this out. Then I'll add to the damp parts. So guys, placing my tape here, I have a total length of four inch um, of 40 inches, sorry. So I'm done adding to the down side of this gun. So at this down side here, I'm just going to come up by 1.5 inches or 2 inches. Let me say 2 inches. So I'm going to just slant it from this end down to this place. So I'll cut it. Please, if you're on the bigger side, you need more than 3 yards. For this tie you need more than three yards for this tie even those that are slim you need more than three yards because of the joining at the damp parts so this is it i'm done cutting the back and the front so what i'll do now i'm going to take one piece out so guys i've taken one piece out so what i'm going to do now is to adjust to adjust the neck of the front then i'm going to notch this place where my band is going to be so that i won't make a mistake the next i'm going to slash open the mid the middle of this front because this is where the shirt is going to be So guys, I'll take this to my sewing machine and join the back with the front. So guys, I'm done joining. <coughs> I'm joining the I'm done joining the side. So I just had to join it with half inch all the way to this place. So this is the opening for the sleeve. So I've joined both the, the side, the both sides. So next, I'm going to fix my button O base. So this is the button O base I have here. So this is a total of 1.5 inches on fold. So by the time I open it this way, it's 3 inches. Then I fold it into 3 equal parts, 1.5 inches. So now, because this is just like, so I went ahead to iron half inch inside. So what I'll be doing is that, from the back, I'll be facing it from the wrong side of the gun. So from the wrong side of the gun, I'm going to place it this way. And I will sew it all the way to the tip, to the down. Then after sewing it, I'll turn it like this. And come and sew this place down. So that is what we'll be doing. So guys, I'm done fixing this um, button base. You can see how the dress looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the band for the sleeve. So I'm going to cut the band now. So guys, I want the band to be to be three inches wide. So I'm going to take the measurement. So I'll just fold this into two and make sure I have seven inches. I want it to be three inches wide. So I have seven inches here. So by the time I fold it into two, we'll be left with 3.5. So I'll be using half inch to join it to the gun itself. So remember the sleeve, sleeve opening is 16 inches. So I'll put my tape here. 16 divided by two, we have eight inches. So this is the eight inches. 
I'll be adding half inch to close it. Then by seven inches, so I'll mark seven inches or two. So guys, after doing this, I'm just going to close this sleeve with half an inch. So I'm done closing it now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to trim off the excess. So I'll turn it to the right side. Then I'll use both sides to... So guys, the band for the sleeve is ready. I've given it a press. So what I'll do now, I'll take the gun. And I'll look for this part. I'll put it this way. So I'm just going to sew it all around. So guys, I'm done fixing the sleeve. So this is how the sleeve looks like. The next thing I'm going to do now is to fix the collar. So we'll take the measurement of the round measurement of the collar starting from this point. So I'm going to put my tape this way. So I have a total of 21 inches for the collar. So I'll be drafting the collar with this estate. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, I, I added this estate to the to the strips I use for the buttonholes to make it thick. So you can use paper stay if that is what you have. If you have collar stay, you can use it. I'm using this hair stay. So our neck is our collar, the round circumference for our collar is 21 inches. So 21 inches divided by two we have 10.5 inches. So I'm going to make sure that this place is up to 10.5 inches, the full. So next, what I'll be doing, I'll come up by one inch, yeah. So I'll look for the midpoint of 10.5. 10.5 divided by two, we have five and quarter. So I'm going to connect this one inch to the center of the collar with a curved line, not with a straight line, a bit of curvy line. So this is my collar. First of all, what I did is that I looked for the half, I looked for 10.5 inches because our total circumference of our collar is 21 inches. 21 inches divided by 2, have 10.5. So this is 10.5 inches. Then I ruled a straight line. Then from this place, I went up by 1 inches. Then I connected it from here to this to half of 10.5 inches. So I divided 10.5 inches into two to get the midpoint. And I have 5 and quarter inch. Then I connected this to this place with a curvy line, not with a straight line. So if you have a French curve, you can use it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take another so this 10.5 inches is not avoid now so i will start taking another one from here so you can see with this curvy line so this is our 10.5 inches here so i'm going to start coming up by one inch and quarter so this is our color stand now so from this color stand, I'm going to come in by one inch. Then I'm going to draw a curve from this one inch to meet with the to meet with this end part. So this is it. So I'm going to cut this out now. So from for my color stand, this is my starting point. I will just subtract 1.5 inches from what we have for the color stand. So 10.5 minus 1.5 inches, we are left with 9 inches. Nine inches. So from this place, I'm going to take two inches all the way on a straight line. Because I want my color stand to be two inches wide. So 
So from this part, this damp part, I'm going to come in with half inch. Then I'll connect it with a slant. So I'll cut this out. So guys, this is it for my collar, for my main collar. And this is my collar stand. So it's going to sit this way like this. Can you see? So I'm going to place this on the fabric to cut. So this is my fabric on fold. So I've placed the collar stand on it. So I'm going to iron it. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to trace its leaving, joining, sewing allowance. So at the that part, I'm leaving a sewing allowance of half inch. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for my collar itself. So I'll get a fabric, put it on fold, then I'll iron it down. So I'm done ironing my collar stand. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it, leaving three quarter and um, one quarter of an inch all through, because that is what I will use to be sewing. So here yeah, is close, so there's no need leaving allowance there. So guys, this is my collar, and this is my collar stand. So I've gone ahead to join the side of my collar. So I will look for the midpoint of this collar fold into two and I'll not cheat and also I'm going to look for the midpoint of the collar stand <coughs> so I'll not cheat so after notching it I'm going to open this <coughs> then this side where there's nothing. I'm going to place it like this. So this is it. So I'm going to go sew it with the allowance that is here. So guys, I'm done with the collar. So this is what it looks like. So when it's standing, to look just exactly like this. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this to the dress now. So I'll come again and notch the center front, the midpoint of this collar. Then I'll notch the midpoint of the dress also. So I'm going to take my collar. And place it this way. With the both notch and touching each other. Now go and sew it. So guys, I'm done fixing the collar. So the last thing we're going to do is to fix our button hole and our buttons. So I'll be going to fix that with a button hole machine. So I'll place this on the mannequin and you end the bottom of your gun. Is it that you whip it first before folding just one or you want to double fold and sew it right? So that is it. I'm going to redo really this and place this on the mannequin for us to see what it looks like. So guys, this is the end result of our gun. This is how it looks. So this is how our gun came out. Very pretty. 
thank you all for staying to the end of this tutorial please if you like this tutorial if you learned something from this video please give this video a thumbs up share like and comment please if you have my first time viewer if you are seeing my tutorials for the first time please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification for more videos whenever i upload new videos until i come your way next time i'll see you all in my next video bye